Welcome to the 30s guide. My name is Prisca Jordan and today's video is all about clothing tips to enhance your body confidence. In this video, we'll be fixing muffin tops, bulky arms, short legs, and short body just in general. Now let me be clear, this video will not give you body confidence. Body confidence comes from knowing your worth and knowing the creator who made you. This is not about disguising parts of your body that you think are ugly or bad, but rather enhancing the beautiful features that you have, and hopefully in time, you will begin to see your body as more beautiful and more lovely. I'm so glad you're here. Let's get right into it. The first clothing mistake that creates a muffin top is when the waistband of your pants or your skirt is too low. Now on jeans and pants, this is called the rise or the measurement from the crotch gusset up to the top of the pant, which is somewhere around the belly button. For some people, your natural waistline is above your belly button and for some people it's below. But if you're not sure how to measure the rise that you should be wearing, then watch last week's video, which was all about the measurements you need to buy properly fitting, flattering jeans. The reason why this is so important is because oftentimes clothing can either enhance your body's natural beautiful features or it can create problems where there are none. The muffin top effect is created when your jeans waistline is too low and that is creating a very harsh line around an area that should actually be the natural curvature of your hips. Wearing a higher waistline will completely remove the look of a muffin top. The second clothing mistake I see that creates this muffin top is having a waistband that is too tight. And there's probably a couple of reasons for this. One, they are leftover jeans, pants, or even leggings from when you weighed less. And maybe it stings a little to have to go up a size, but properly fitting clothing is going to make you look better and nobody even knows your size. That's something that we kind of attach value to but it's not something about value, it's just a scientific number. So try to detach emotion from going up a size or going up in weight. The second reason why your waistband might be too tight is because you're not the exact proportions of what they're selling in the store and that happens with me as well. So typically I go up a size to accommodate for my thighs and then I have to get my waist tapered in to accommodate for my waist. And this is a pretty cheap fix. It's like 10 or $15 and you have perfectly fitting jeans or pants. So I would say anytime you're buying a new pair of pants, just add that into your budget and your time budget of going to the alterations and it is well worth it. There are even a lot of stores like Nordstrom that offers free alterations for the pieces that you buy in store. The third and final fix for a muffin top is slump posture. And you can see here how immediately just adjusting my posture allows my curves to look natural and my body to be elongated. So hopefully these three fixes help you if you have a muffin top. If you've already learned something in this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more wardrobe tips in your 30s. The second clothing fix to enhance your body confidence is if you have big or bulky arms. There's a couple ways we can fix this with just adjusting your clothing and there's another posture technique that I'll show you as well. The first clothing technique is adjusting your sleeve length. The worst sleeve length for a woman's arm is a baby doll tee. And if you're not sure what that is, it was very popular in the 90s when I was growing up, but it's when the sleeve length is about here. The most flattering lengths are either a sleeveless length because that allows for the entire elongation of the arm or a long sleeve. That is also very flattering. But if you're buying a blouse with a shorter sleeve, then the most flattering length is mid arm. One trick to getting around this is having a sleeve that is about the same color as your arm because it's more about the continuation of the line. So something that is more of a fleshy tone is going to allow for that same elongation. But the one piece of clothing you should absolutely avoid if you do not want your arms looking bigger and bulkier is a high contrast color baby doll tee. What do I mean by high contrast? Well, if you have lighter skin, then like a black shirt. But if you have darker skin, then maybe like a white shirt because that color contrast is going to shorten the length of your arm, making it look wider. The second clothing fix is not having a necklace too short. And this is actually more specifically for summer wear. If you're wearing a tank top, for example, and you're showing your decolletage in your arm, then you want to allow for length in the upper half of your body by wearing a longer necklace. Now, I'm not at all saying to avoid short necklaces, just pair it well with what you're wearing. It's more about styling than the piece itself. 
The one styling mistake I would absolutely avoid is a short, chunky necklace with a low cut top. Instead, find ways to enhance the length of your torso and that will help enhance your natural beauty. The last and final tip for elongating your arms is a posture technique. A lot of times I see this with women taking photos and they tense up during the photo, but that just creates bulkiness with the arm because your entire arm is flattened against your body. Instead, try to relax and you can see here how this already creates length just by not pushing the arm against the body. The next two problems are things that I have had to personally overcome. I was very short my entire life. I didn't hit my growth spurt until after my freshman year of college. And I thought that being short kind of made me kind of less valuable for some reason. And I know that sounds a little bit crazy because it's not something I think in my 30s, but you know, as a teenager, you're just so sensitive about your looks and how you look different than other people. If everybody has straight hair, you want that. If everybody has curly hair, you want that. If everyone looks taller than you, you might want that. So although this isn't something that I attach the same meaning to now, it is something that I'd like to enhance just the length of my body and not make it look shorter. So if you resonate with that, the first thing that we're going to talk about is having short legs. The first clothing mistake I see that is very obvious is wearing capris. See, capri pants cut off your legs at the bulkiest part of your calf. What we want to do is either have like a cropped pant, so right above the ankle, or shorts which end at the knee to about the mid thighs. I would recommend for someone who's curvy and trying to lengthen your legs to wear a short that ends at the mid thigh and is a little bit looser. So here's a really good example of that. These are a pair of shorts that I bought this summer. The second clothing mistake that makes your legs look too short is wearing too low of a rise. And we just talked about this with the muffin tops, but wearing a too low of a rise is also going to make your legs look short because the rise of your pants should be extending all the way to your natural waist. Where your waist ends is where your legs begin. So if you're unsure of what rise you should be wearing, watch this video that I've linked in the corner, last week's video, which was all about measuring your body for properly fitting jeans. And that brings me to tip number three, which is do not wear unflattering washes or rinses in your jeans. I recently made this mistake in purchasing a pair of jeans that has light colored whiskering and fading in the thigh of the jean, and it's just really unflattering on my figure. Instead, having a solid color that extends all the way down, even if there's just a little bit of whiskering, just having most of the color extend all the way down the jean is going to be much more flattering on your figure. Mistake number four is wearing shortening footwear. And by this, I do not mean that you need to wear five inch stilettos every day of your life. I mean wearing footwear that cuts off around the ankle or right above the ankle and creates a color block between your leg and your foot. I see this often with black ankle straps like on heels or even with boots that have a high contrast between the boot color and the jeans color. What this is doing is creating color blocks or truncation of the leg, and instead we want the foot length to enhance the leg. So the best way to accomplish this long lean look of the leg is to wear footwear that doesn't highly contrast with your jeans. So if you're wearing dark colored jeans or pants, then dark colored boots will look really good with that. If you're wearing light colored pants, then a lighter color of your footwear is going to enhance your legs. Just as a bonus tip, wearing shoes that have a pointed toe is going to make that line look longer for your legs than wearing shoes that have either a square toe or a rounded toe. The final clothing mistake that might make your legs look shorter is leaving your shirt untucked. I talk about this all the time, but tucking in your shirt is just a really simple way to enhance your waistline, which again makes your legs look longer. And of course I couldn't move on without giving you a tip about posture. A big mistake I see a lot of women make is tucking their pelvis, or rather over tucking the pelvis. What that does is push your thighs forward, creating more bulk around the thighs than is actually naturally there. So instead we want a long lean line for your entire spine, which is going to lengthen the look of your legs. The final set of clothing mistakes is going to help you elongate your body and not make your body look shorter. The first mistake that might make you look shorter is ignoring height, and specifically I'm talking about wearing hats or heels. I know, wearing heels to make you look taller is groundbreaking, but have you considered hats? How often are you incorporating hats into your outfits? 
This is something I've only recently started doing, but to remind me to wear my hats more often, I've displayed them on the wall behind me. So that's just a mental cue that if I want to look taller, to add a hat. Maybe you've tried a hat before and you're just like, I'm not a hat person, it doesn't look good on me. Well, have you tried some of the newer styles? Especially, I would recommend Gigi Pip, which is where my newest hat is from. They have made hats that feel so good on and look beautiful, so try some of their styles. I will link the hat I have in the description box below. But if you're absolutely adamant that hats don't look good on you or you just don't like wearing them, then maybe try a headband or an updo. A lot of times I will wear a top knot ponytail and that makes me look so much taller because it has the same effect of drawing interest up towards the top of my body, creating more of a longer look. Now the second clothing mistake is one that is most important in the fall and winter when we start wearing more layers and that is wearing all loose clothing. The easiest way to fix this is by making sure you're not adding bulk to your midsection. Especially when you add bulk to your midsection versus other parts of your body, what that's doing is creating a wide silhouette rather than a long silhouette. So even if you're wearing a big bulky coat, adding a belt to it is really going to enhance the look of your outfit. Now this next tip is probably my favorite. I do not want you disregarding the rule of thirds because that will create a look of shorter legs. What is the rule of thirds? Well, I'm so glad you asked because I've made two videos on this. It is one of my favorite style rules. The rule of thirds simply states that it's more aesthetically pleasing to have your outfit broken up into thirds rather than halves. So you can either do this by having a top one third of an outfit with the bottom two thirds, or a top two thirds with the bottom one thirds, or one third top, one third middle, one third bottom. What you don't want to do is a top one half of your outfit and a bottom one half. I'm not sure exactly why this works, but considering that the rule of thirds is pervasive in so many parts of our culture, including in architecture and in paintings, and those have a lot to do with aesthetics, and even people with like an untrained eye can spot whether something just looks good based on the rule of thirds, I would just say follow that rule. It's going to help enhance your features. And if you haven't seen those videos, then I will link them here and in the description box. There's a rule of thirds video for dresses and a rule of thirds video for jeans. The next mistake to avoid if you don't want to have the look of shorter legs is color blocking your outfit. And in this, I'm really talking about contrast again. I'm not saying all your outfits need to be monochromatic or tonal, but rather when you have a white top with black pants or a black top with white pants, you're breaking up the continuation of the line of your body. So instead, try outfits with low contrast and that will help lengthen your body. So now you know what colors to wear, let's talk about patterns. The worst pattern for someone who wants to look longer is horizontal stripes. Horizontal stripes create width, just like we talked about with baggier clothing, and that takes away from the natural length of your body. I would say avoid horizontal stripes in most cases if you're concerned about looking shorter. And my final tip for you is, of course, about posture. A slumped posture can actually take away literal inches of your height, so be sure that you're standing tall and happy and proud and that you're confident in your body because it is beautiful. The more you apply these tips that enhance your natural beauty, the more you're going to feel confident in your body. As you see yourself in the mirror, you're going to think more lovely thoughts towards yourself and that's why it's important to enhance your style because it is personal to you and it enhances your unique beauty. Thanks for joining me for this week's video. I'll see you next week with another brand new video. Until then, take care.